In this video, we will learn the skills in preparing copper 2 sulfate using copper 2 oxide and sulfuric acid. Skills on preparing a saturated solution. Measuring the volume of sulfuric acid. Carefully pour sulfuric acid into a measuring cylinder. Ensure that the measuring cylinder is on the tabletop and that you are wearing your goggles. Minimize parallax error by taking the reading at eye level. This will improve the accuracy in the percentage yield of copper 2 sulfate. Record the volume by reading the measurement below the meniscus. Transfer the sulfuric acid into the beaker for heating. Lighting the Bunsen burner. Ensure that you follow the safety precautions when lighting the Bunsen burner. Do not turn on the flame when the beaker is on the Bunsen burner. Use a non-luminous flame for steady heating. Measuring the temperature. Place the bulb of the thermometer in the middle of the sulfuric acid. Heat the acid to about 50 degrees Celsius. Do not let it boil. Adding copper 2 oxide to sulfuric acid. Add copper 2 oxide a little at a time. Use a glass rod to stir the solution. Ensure that the temperature is controlled at 50 degrees Celsius. Stir until no more copper 2 oxide dissolves. You should not do these following actions. Do not swirl the glass beaker as it may be very hot. You should not be stirring with a thermometer or a metal spatula. Avoid trying to do everything at the same time. This may cause accidents. Skills on filtration. Folding the filter paper. Fold the filter paper into half and then into quarters. Pick one of the flaps to open up into a cone. Fixing the filtration setup. Tighten the screw on the retort stand to keep the funnel in place. Place the folded filter paper into the funnel and wet it with a small amount of distilled water. Pour the solution into the funnel a little at a time to prevent clogging of the residue in the cone. Rinse the beaker with a moderate amount of distilled water. This ensures that no solution is left in the beaker. Skills on evaporation and crystallization. Do not use a beaker or conical flask when evaporating copper to sulfate solution. For safety reasons, you must not leave your flame unattended. Also ensure that your solution does not boil over. Evaporate the two-thirds of the initial volume of filtrate. Leave the solution to stand for a few days. Crystals will start to form after about four days. 
collect the crystals using the same filtration technique covered earlier on. Press lightly to dry the crystals in between two sheets of filter paper. We have reached the end of the video. Now, you should be able to display appropriate skills in the preparation of suitable salts. Thank you!